Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out again with the lovely Andrew Norris. Over from Croatia. Yeah, good to be here. Yeah. Great to be here walking in the Surrey yeah. Hills. Trying to avoid a little bit of rain. We weren't expecting rain. There's a little bit of rain going on here. So, um, but we don't mind. It's bright coming up. Yeah, it's bright over a bit there. Bit of sunshine. So yeah. last time with Andrew, we walked around Chipstead Valley. We did. Which we'll link below. Yeah. Um, and today we're going to go down. Uh, I do apologise. I'm repeating myself slightly from a walk I did in March along the Pilgrim's Way and the North Downs Way. But we're veering off to go down to Children Church, which I have done videos yeah. from before. Um, but we, Andrew wants to go back there. I like yeah. to go back there and see the magnificent uh, doom mural on the wall mural yeah mural yeah. mural i say yeah. mural didn't i mural <laughs> oh, how are you mural i'm fine <laughs> the doom mural yes yeah. um so yeah yeah should be good yeah look forward to it and then we have we got uh, lunch here at the harrow where we're starting from the harrow in where Brought i was in table. yeah i've been here a couple of times it's a really yeah. nice pub yeah yeah right so let's do it indeed indeed let's, let's go we'll quickly bring in andrew to white hill tower the this folly. is astonishing yeah yeah, but it's very sad, it's, it's decaying quite a lot. Yeah, built by Jeremiah Long in 1862, I think it is, but it's on more information on my uh, on my channel, on my other video. Yeah. So they are the White Hill Tower that Andrew and I talked about Andrew too quickly to have a look at. Yeah. And now we're going to head down the Pilgrim's Way oh, and excellent. the North Downs Way, and then we're going to veer to the right that will take us down to Doctor's Lane and yes, down to the Children's yeah. Church. So Pilgrim's Way has a special place in my heart yes yeah, yeah. although it's an, a victorian invention the actual name of it uh, yes yeah i mean to me but it's a lovely poetic it is name, yeah, it? yeah 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 and that struggles the north downs way through parts of surrey and uh, kent yeah yeah right and hampshire and hampshire yes yeah. yes beginning at uh, winchester cathedral most amazing uh i'll quick tell you this as we climb down this little ridge um, the the north downs way and the Southlands Way actually originally tr carried on all the way to Avebury. Yes. Avebury yeah. was a cut-off point. I, well, I think, still think Avebury, not Stonehenge, the Avebury landscape was the most important spot in prehistoric England. It was like the, the, the capital yes, yeah. of Neolithic and well, Mesolithic England. Well, from the Salisbury Plain, yeah. the, all these ancient droves rose radiating out like mm -hmm. spokes of a wheel. The, coming out the Ridgeway, yeah. North Downs Way, the, the Old Way, which is the Harrow Way. Harrow Way. Um, yeah, I find that absolutely fascinating. I know, that they've endured and survived yeah. all, all these centuries. So we're gonna, there's a car coming. Yeah. I was gonna cross over and head down the Pilgrim's Way. Let's go. So we're washing the weather closely because it's not supposed to rain, not until later. It's supposed to be sort of sunny intervals. <laughs> it's quite pleasant, nice and cool. And Mark's worried about his hair. Yeah, I don't, I don't want the camera getting wet. First rule, I said that in the last video, don't always protect the camera. I know. Always protect the camera. Unless you've got a GoPro. Unless you've got a GoPro. Which I must say, I, I really enjoy using my GoPro. I like them, yeah. yes. Uh, I, I like the spontaneity of it and the but, ease of use. Yeah, but my one's having a lot, my, I've got the GoPro 8, I've had the other earlier versions, but the GoPro 8 is starting to have uh, sound dropout oh, right. on clips. And that's not good if you're vlogging. No. So we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. So uh, let me know when we get to the Pilgrim's Way. Well, we're on it now. This is, oh, okay, yes. I, I wouldn't recognize it. I did this route in 1991. Wow. When I had a eight mm Super 8 camera. Which well, you've got a new YouTube channel, isn't it? We'll yes. link that below, guys. We'll link that okay. below. It's really good. I saw it the, uh, the other day when you yes, recommended yeah. it. But I based a whole project around walking the Pilgrim's Way. I did a series of paintings and I made um, a, a book of my own, which, where I photographed the route every mile from Winchester to Canterbury. Amazing. Gantry. And the paintings are fantastic. I don't mind me saying. No, please oh. do. Helicopter's coming over. Right in the distance is that there, London. Yeah, keep it in the distance. Yeah, keep it in the distance. You can see the Shard, yes, you're saying Crystal yeah. Palace. So there's a helicopter and part of a plane you have in your uh, backyard, as you do. I find that absolutely fascinating. Yeah. You got anything like that in your uh, 
No, I've got an old piece of farm machinery. Oh, that's still impressive. Is it all oh, rusty? It is. It's, it is. It's um, uh, a kind of plough for lifting potatoes. It's got five adjustable little shears on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I've got an original plough which I bought from my neighbour, which she used to use when, well, her father when she was a child. So I bought it off her for about £10. Uh, it was a beautiful object to have. You know, just I have it in my studio mm. space. And uh, it's a delight, oh, you know. Brings back, I mean, I filmed the last man in the whole district plowing with horses. And sadly he died just a year or so ago. But I got some really good footage of him plowing and it's a tremendously hard work. Yeah. Oh, backbreaking, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need now doing it. <laughs> two people, yeah. one to guide the, the animal and uh, one to lead the plow. But I did a film about a group of artists um, collectively known as Zemlia, meaning Earth, and I paralleled a number of their paintings with scenes that I'd filmed in my village, you know, over the past 15 or so years. And there's, there's contemporary relevance for these paintings from the 1920s. They were only exhibiting and painting together for five years until the authorities uh, banned them from exhibiting because a lot of the pictures had a political message in it, like um, soldiers requisitioning the, the family cattle or family cow. You know, most families had one or two cows. Um, and there are a number of paintings with that scene in them. So they were banned from exhibiting. Wow, but a number of these artists went on to create really iconic Croatian paintings. Even Generalic is probably the, the best known. And he does really beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah. I'm a real fan of that that period of painting. In, also in England, you know, the, the neo-romantics mm. from the 1930s to 50s, spanning the war period. There was, um, there's a particular, for me, a particular English quality about the landscape that they painted. Not that it's all nice and fluffy, but that underlying the landscape, there is an element of um, danger, foreboding. Mm. Okay, there's a finger post. Um, so we have our extension. Yeah. So, so if you watch my video from here from back in March, I carried on down the Pilgrim's Way, <laughs> North Downs Way. I kept joking and saying, we're walking along the Pilgrim's Way, <coughs> North Downs Way. Um, <laughs> but now we're gonna go down to a Rook Lane. We're just gonna go past some paddocks. It goes all the way down to Doctor's Lane. Okay. Where we drove down just a minute ago and we'll head down to Children's Church that way. So Fantastic, if you like to follow yes. me, yeah. this is where I'm gonna do it from memory. I haven't been down this route for about seven years. Um, it's not that long, and I should remember it. Might have uh, overgrown a little bit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let me come out by these, as I showed you on the last video, these, these lovely paddocks. We might see some, uh, some horses. It's all very, very middle class, isn't it? That's yeah. okay. Yeah, and here we go. that rag works. So we're at this finger post. Um, yeah, Five ways, isn't it? Yeah, we're going down that way to Rook Lane. Yeah. Caterham's that way. Hilltop Farm is that way. Uh, North Downs Way, that way. Where we've just come. Yeah, and Willie Broom Lane is a quarter of a mile that way. But we're going to be going to Rook Lane, which is down that way. Fabulous. Hilltop Farm, that's where we passed, where that tower was. Wasn't I think it, it was, well, yeah, Hilltop yeah, Farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's correct. Cool. I oh. love finger posts. Mm. And we're on the Downland Circular Walk. This is part of the Downland Circular Walk. Nice, nice logo. Yeah. Downland's project. So we're coming up to the main road where we're going to cross over and go over to Doctor's Lane. We're going to come up and see some sheep in there. There's some sheep in this field. Okay, we've uh, crossed the main road. I'm going to Doctor's Lane now. This will take us all the way down to Chaldon and Chaldon Church. So well, actually, that's the question I want to ask you. When was the last time you were at St. Peter's and St. Paul's Church in Chaldon? I was uh, obviously there in 1991. I visited it a couple of times subsequently, but the last time I was with, with my mother 
and that was about three or four years three ago. Four, oh, so you've been here quite recently. Then. Oh, fairly yeah, recently, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's lovely. Ho we're hoping it's open. Oh, let's make a very short yeah. video. <laughs> Oh, just as a plane's coming overhead, see if I can get that. Lots of cars coming through. So we're in the village of Chaldon, and we are going to uh, go to St. Peter and St. Paul's ancient church. Uh, very, very early church, Saxon origins. Saxon origins, yeah. But, um, it's we'll be Norman linking church, you consider it now, don't Yeah, you? I will be linking the videos below. I've done from there before. And look at that. That goes back up to Happy Valley. Uh, if you know the area, and we're in this is Doctor's Lane. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So walking up to the church. There's a lovely oh, field here. Nice. Oh wow! Check that out, folks. Look at that. That looks like barley. It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, the okay. Jordan, the ancient parish of Jordan offers abundant wildlife and intriguing history. So we walked, uh, we walked along here, didn't we? Yes. So we must have passed it at one point. No, we didn't. It's a little bit further down on the oh, other side so, of the oh, main road. Up, yeah. yeah. Oh right, okay. We're talking about the uh, Six Brothers filmed a little field uh, owned yeah. by the National Trust with this plaque in it, uh, dedicated by this chap who lived in the area from I think um, America. So was he? Were there six brothers who yeah, owned it? Yeah, and he owned it. To, well, he, he dedicated it to his six brothers, I oh, think. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. There'll be someone to correct me. I know. It was his. <laughs> oh, nice. Hazel Dormice are a natural ver rarity, but thriving in children's old hedges and woods. Isn't that lovely? So here we are at St. Peter and St. Paul's Church in Chaldon. So lots of uh, ribbons it's and solidarity like a, like for a wishing tree. Yeah, well, there's solidarity for Ukraine, I would think. Well, there's no blue ribbons, so no, probably not. So we're going to go to the church. Hopefully, it's open. Hopefully, it's open. Um, and we'll show you the. If not, I just have to link it to the video below. Oh, it is open. The door is open. Oh, Mark, look at the door. Oh, oh, I think I've, I've made love to that door before. Oh. Here we go, here's the door open. Okay. So we're gonna turn around actually and show you the fantastic ladder of salvation and purgatory uh, doom mural yeah. in Children Church. Probably the best preserved medieval wall painting in England. Certainly, probably the oldest yes. as well. Yeah. Yes. It was only revealed around 1865. Something like that. Yeah, they a lot of these were all whitewashed over during the Reformation. Yeah. And then with Victorian renovation work done on these churches, uh, the vicar at the time said, oh, what's that poking through? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it was all uh, revealed to the yes, world. Yeah. Absolutely extraordinary. The yeah. I said to you in the last video, it's a graphic novel of its day. It did, yeah. yeah. That's how they told us the stories, yeah. So you've got the seven deadly sins at the bottom. Yes, that's right. You've got the, the Bridge of Spikes mm -hmm. here. The Bridge of Spikes. With all the uh, traders who ripped off their customers. You've got avarice, you've got lust, you've got the money lender who's spitting out. Coins. Why is lust a sin? I've never understood that. <laughs> Christians, please tell me, why is lust a sin? I suppose because you get away with I and you... Uh, Indulge us. Yeah, I'm, I'm not being flippant. I'm just quite curious. I've been yeah. curious about that one. So you've got the ladder of salvation with souls going to purgatory. You've got St. Michael. I think that's St. Michael. Yeah, I think St. Michael, souls. yes. And there's a, a devil trying to push down the scales. And if you notice, all the devil characters have got three, three toes, except this one, which is, who's got a hoof, foot. Oh, yeah. You've got three Marys here. Um, and then you've got the... The, the souls that have been accepted in purgatory going to heaven. Uh, you've got the tree of life. In it's actually a very one. pagan symbol, isn't it? Very it, pagan yeah, symbol. yeah, and with the snake curled around the branch. Amazing. A lot of, it's, it's the most wonderful story. The only the detail which is not contemporary with the painting is this little design here, this four-leaf design. 
in there. It's amazing. But you've got the fires of hell and you've got clouds up above. And I think a God is in the cloud up at the top there. I love this. This is Jacobean. 1562? 1562. But the sun face, which I, th I said before in my other video, it's very pagan. It's a very Isn't pagan it? symbol. Yeah, yeah. There's even old graffiti, 1809, yeah. 1965. Interesting. Now, I said before, what's your opinion on this? If you see graffiti and it's from, like you say, that one was from 1805? Something like that, yeah. Is that graffiti or is that part of the history? It has a period charm to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. 1965, maybe not so much. Mm. Um, so that's interesting. What's your opinion on that, guys? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you see something, some, I said you see something etched into a bit of oak that's part of an old ship, it says 1703. Mm -hmm. That's part of the aesthetic of the, Indeed, of the piece. Indeed, yeah. But it's also small and discreet. Mm. I mean, the graffiti these days, you know, it's too loud in yeah. the face and brash. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel again. The pulpit is 1657 and I saw this and there's a inscription to Patience Lambert who live nearby. Patience Lambert, 1657. Uh, I think it's a her actually. Well, her, okay. I don't know very little, but um, if you go to the Children Church website, they've got a fantastic detailed history of this place. Okay. I think it's one of the most, not one of the most important churches just in Surrey, but in all of England. Well, certainly for the wall painting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the West Wall's actually Saxon in origin. I think you're right. Yeah, going yeah. back 1,500 years. It's yeah. absolutely extraordinary. I know, the history. The, con the continuity is what I like. Yeah, so, yeah, mm. it's constantly being used all that time. And added to and remodelled. But still, some of the old details remain, which yes. is uh, lovely. I'm always just saying, I always think there's not, there wasn't much church building, once again, people correct me if I'm wrong, not much church building during the Tudor period. Well, that's to do with the delusion of the monasteries and all that kind of thing, but never much Tudor building. That's, that's the point, yeah. yeah, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. There seemed to be a bit of a gap going up to sort of the eighth, you know, probably about two, three hundred years, didn't seem to be much church building, but I say, yeah. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. I've just, just thought when I've been around to these churches, they're all either Victorian or pre-1400. Yes, with yeah. With a few scattered in between, you know. Yeah. What's well, someone say now, actually, Mark, no, here's the one here, that was built in 1700, yeah. Well, there were chapels, weren't they? they yes, were chapels, yes. That time. That's true, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Rather than churches. But this is really the, the gem. Yeah, the wall painting. Time. Look at that. So we just found the... Um, Here life interred the body of William Lambert. Uh, gent who departed this life on the 3rd of March 1656. He, li he lived with, hu uh, sorry, was husband of patience, hence the pulpit. His wife of 33 years and departed this life in his 70 77th year. So yeah, so he's the husband of yeah. patience. And what you're saying about this myth of people dying younger? Um, I think this is quite a good age. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I mean. Uh, yeah, Sir Christopher Wren, when he died in Hampton Court, he was 92, you know. Was he really? Yeah. But I mean, yeah, generally because of disease, people did, well, might have departed his life. But if they were healthy, there's no reason why they couldn't have gone into, into old age. Indeed, you know, yeah. I'm talking purely in England here, um, from the medieval period. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, life expectancy now, obviously, is, is much higher because we have fantastic treatments. People are, are very much into well-being and all that. And we, um, but people had pretty good diets back then. Well, it was a small, uh, a limited diet, but it yeah. was, you know, organic food. Yeah. It was nutritious. Yeah, not filled with E numbers. You don't need to be stuffing it. I mean, I think it was the, the, the rich folk who over ate with the meat. Indulged, yeah. Got, yeah, they would have got some yeah. fat. Um, and then when sugar arrived. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The only sugar I drink, I have is in red wine. That's the only, I really <laughs> try and avoid sugar as much as I can. Yeah, yes, yeah. I do apologize. There's a lot of parents and kids playing in the churchyard. I don't quite know why they're playing in a churchyard, but... Um, uh, Better outside than it. Absolutely, absolutely. Not staring at your phones. Yes.
So here, Andrew, we have the original part of a coffin lid. Yes. From the, I think it's the 12th, 13th century. Yes, yeah. And here is the original stone steps leading up to the porch. You can see where it's worn down, yeah. can't you? All those, all those pilgrims. Yeah. This is a pilgrim church, by the way, that we've visited a few recently. We were on the pilgrim, not far, about a quarter of a mile from the pilgrim's way. So North Downs they way. walked in single file, because it's worn yeah. mostly in the middle. So this step was at the front the door? The outside, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't quite know why they bought it in and leave it outside. Yeah. How old is this yeah. porch? I mean, look at the beams there, look at I that. Know. Yeah. Uh, what we're doing now, guys, we're heading back to, down to the Pilgrims Straight North Downs Way. Videos, I won't spill too much on that because we've already done that in a previous video. And uh, I'll show you Tolsworth Manor as well. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, then yeah. pub lunch. Great. All right, let's go. Ready for it. We are walking along a field of wheat. Very nice. Always at it again, drinking game. Um, I'm gonna cross the road a minute, go up to Tolworth Manor, head up to the Pilgrim's Way, which is the subject of my previous video from March, and head down to the Harrow for lunch. That sounds a plan. Good plan. That sounds a plan. Oh, my treat. My treat. You might treat, I paid last time. No, it's your, no, it's my treat. Absolutely my treat. There's a, well, there's a little gap in the fence here coming up where we can okay. slip through. Dangerous road. Yeah, it is a bit. Yeah. This one we came down earlier on. Oh, mm. uh, yes. Wow. In my village. Really? Yeah, they've like four cylinders. <laughs> Even they've got uh, uh, two cylinder tractors. Mm -hmm. There's one chap who sadly died. He collected them and restored them. He was an engineer and he had a collection of 31 tractors. Wow. And he wanted to start a new tradition by getting villagers to borrow a tractor. We'd go for a convoy around all the other villages but um, none of them were insured, so oh. that only lasted a couple of years before he was forbidden from doing it. So here's Tolsworth Manor. 1326. Yeah, lovely Tolsworth Manor. Yeah. Tolsworth Manor, circa, circa 1326. 1326 there, Andrew. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah. Apparently got an open day here tomorrow, I didn't even know about. It's lovely, there's people in there, I can see uh, yeah, lights on. Yeah, yeah lovely, what a beautiful building. Absolutely beautiful building, this lovely setting just on the scarp of the North Downs. Yes, yeah. Look how the chimneys are parallel. Yeah. Two chimneys and then they join together. So we're at the top of, uh, just outside Merstham, uh in Tolsworth, and we're gonna go now down the Pilgrim's Way, North Downs Way. I'm not gonna video this section because it's in the previous video from back on March. We might get a few little cutaway shots, but, um, yeah. Lovely barley field here. Barley field, a very steep hill. I can't remember, oh, oh, can't remember what the hill's called now. Um, but yeah, and we'll see you at the Harrow pub. Let's go.
So we're just at a lovely pub in The Harrow, haven't we, in Chorlton. Fantastic pub, yeah. And thank you very much for joining us. Love to see Andrew again. Yeah, great to do a walk with yeah, you, Mark. We do Always plenty, good, yeah. Plenty more, hopefully one in yeah. a couple of weeks' time. Um, and uh, if you've liked the video, do the old usual. Like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you can. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, and a good thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see you next time. Sure thing. Take care. Bye for now.